All right, here we go. This is going to be a look at the Dustin, Justin McFetridge interrogation. This is going to be a good one. You know, I wanted, I said I wanted to do this one, you know, all in one sitting, but, you know, I don't think I'm going to have, like, <laughs> three hours to myself, you know, for, for the foreseeable future where I don't have other things that I have to do. So we're just going to do these in multiple parts, multiple recording sessions. So I hope that's okay. But yeah, this this is this is the this is the granddaddy of them all in terms of police interviews, man. Um, <laughs> these always get it's always it's still like as as infuriating to me, but still so as magical to me as it is as the first time that I saw it. You know, it still is, it still is fantastic. It is still fantastic. Great, absolutely great. A great job done by uh, the interrogator, <clears throat> Mr. Dudinsky. And yeah, it's just, it's just, it's still so great to me all, all these times. I mean, I've seen this so many times. Like, um, <laughs> it, it's still, it just never gets old to me. It's, 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 it's up there with amongst the TCAP, the greatest, you know, TCAP related footage that we've got. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, it's gonna annoy the hell out of me, but you know, it, at the end of the day, it gets, it gets, you get a lot, uh, out of it just because. You know, you know that this guy got completely fucked over. I mean, he, rightfully, he got completely, right? Uh, completely, deservedly, what he deserved, you know? I mean, they didn't let him off easy like some of these other stings, you know? Kentucky kind of pretty much got it all right. And McFetridge arguably got it worst of all. So, let's just get into it here. It's This is a long one, so let's, let's just get into it. And this guy, first of all, right away here, this guy on the right, this guy, I don't know what his official job title is, but he, you can see him in the Lorne uh, footage when he's escorting Lorne, you know, that shot of Lorne going to the car and he's um, coming out of the car and he turns his head. I love that shot so much. But yeah, you can see him in multiple, I don't know if that's just his job, <laughs> that his job is to escort the pedos into the interrogation room. I don't know. What his official job title is, but that's what he seems to be doing in most of the times that you see this guy. And now over here, he's in here watching Dustin. He has hands on his hips, not a care in the world. <laughs> because why would you care about this piece of shit right here? <laughs> he doesn't even want to look. This guy doesn't even want to look at Dustin, Justin. You know, he doesn't even want to look at him. It doesn't so sad. It gets worse and worse. It just gets worse and worse. <laughs> dude, he doesn't care. No one cares. You're not having chit chat, you know? You're not supposed to be having chit chat with this dude, man. Just shut up. I never imagined I'd hurt anybody, and I never imagined I'd be arrested. <laughs> Run to jail. I never wanted to hurt anybody. I never imagined hurting anybody. I never imagined I'd be arrested, sitting in jail. Police station. The police station. <laughs> Poor Justin. Alrighty, you know you don't have to suck up to this guy here, Justin. You don't need to do it. You don't. This guy does is not running the interrogation. You don't need to say. You don't need to start your sob story. You know, pity me story. You don't need to start that quite yet. Um. But no, Justin's already, you know, he's had a lot of time, I imagine it's been like 40 minutes, maybe to an hour since he's been arrested, you know. He's had a lot of time to kind of figure out his tricks, you know, what tricks he's going to use. Uh, you know, it's like, he's starting to think, you know, hey, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get this right, you know. I'm, I'm going to get out of this, don't worry, I, I know what to do. I know to lay on the tears, lay on the pity me card. I'm, it'll be okay, it'll be okay. And I love this right here, right here. <laughs> the camera's coming. Oh, poor Dustin. <laughs> I love that right here. Just run away. This guy just comes in. He's just filming him. Just filming him sitting there. Like, what's the point of that, you know? <laughs> just filming him sitting there for two seconds. With that huge-ass camera, too. I mean, look at how huge this fucking camera is, man. Like, that is, that is top-of-the-line shit from back in the day, man. And you just know, oh, man, poor Justin is going to have his face. He's not going not gonna to be able to hide, Dustin. Not going to be able to hide, you fucking piece of shit. All right, man. 
<laughs> and here comes just, and here comes uh, the dude. In comes the dude. Evening, Ghost. Oh. <laughs> I love it too. He's got his fucking water. He's got two water bottles inside of his cargo pants pocket. I fucking love that. You know, dude. The dude is a guy you know who who could survive. You know, in, in the middle of the woods. You know, lost in the woods. He he would survive. You know, no food, no shelter. He he would survive. You know, you can just tell that he would he would make it out alive, and he would <laughs> maybe stab the hell out of anybody that got in his way. You know, I respect you, dude. The dude. I love that too. Comes in and he puts the fucking. He comes in. He puts like this stack of papers down. He's got this stack of papers, and he puts one stack down. He moves another stack somewhere else, and then he comes back and moves this piece of paper back back over there. What? The, why not just do it all at once? You know, I don't know what the hell that is. He's only he pulls up his pants, scratches, scratches his ass. <laughs> He's so laid back. Like he, this is a serious job. You know, this is a serious interview. And he's over here, you know, just like an average Joe, you know, Joe nobody with his scratching his ass, you know. Oh, yeah, I just woke up out of bed. Oh, whoa, we're grilling pedos today? Oh, okay, I gotcha. <laughs> and you notice, I call Dustin a pedo. I don't like to call them pedos because they're not. They came out of their teens. They're not pedos by the definition of the word. But Justin here fucking uh, wanted to have a, a thing with the decoy's eight-year-old sister. And that makes you a pedo in my book. So that's why I'm calling him a pedo. He's more than a predator, you know. He's a real piece of work, man. <laughs> and right away, Dustin, the guy comes in. Dustin, the guy's not even in the room for him for 30 seconds. And Justin's already like, I'm not gonna hurt nobody. <laughs> I don't, he shakes I don't his hand. Oh. Okay. And I mean, I'm not such. <laughs> I, mean, I don't. I don't want to hurt nobody. I'll never hurt anybody, sir. Okay. And I mean, I'm not saying you hurt anybody. Yeah, I'll just slow down. I'm going to have to get some information. Seriously, Dustin's already coming in. The guy's not even in the room for 30 seconds, man. He's already, like, doing his whole story. He's doing his whole shtick. Come on. Patient for me, okay? I don't. I don't I just, you know who I am? No. And you're sitting here telling me your whole life story. Just hold on a second, okay? <laughs> I love that line. And then Dustin's like, I'm too honest about everything, sir. Dustin's like, yeah, you know, I'm so honest. But, you know, meanwhile, I'm going to lie the entire time. That's his, that's his game plan, man. But, man, he's already coming into the room saying, I'm too honest about everything. Shut up, all right? You don't need to prove your case already, Dustin. Come on, dude. Just go through the fucking process, man. <clears throat> and anyways, but yeah, I love that though. Does the dude's like, you still know who I am? You're sitting here telling me your whole life story. You know, I've used that line uh, in real life. You know, when I was in a um, an Uber back in uh, on New Year's Eve, I think it was. Um, I I split an Uber with with a couple of my lads, and um, the one was one dude that I was with was like telling yapping, telling the whole life story, his whole life story to the. Uh, to the uber driver and i'm just sitting there in the back like yo do you know who this guy is why are you telling him your whole life story <laughs> as i cracked up to myself you know i kept like a little tally of all the tcap references that i made <laughs> i was uh, i also when i was at the bar uh, that night i was um talking up so to, to some random dudes that were uh, next to me and uh, waiting for my drink at the bar, you know, I was, I was getting waiting for it to be made or whatever. And after I got it, you know, I, I said I said to the I said to the, the the gentleman that I was talking to next to me, I said, gentlemen, <clears throat> have a good night. <laughs> Pull the David Demers, um, which is pretty funny too. <laughs> they they actually laughed, you know. I don't I don't think they were tea cappers, but they did laugh. So that's that's a that's a win in my book. Most of them don't get a fucking laugh, so. <laughs> I, I call that a win in my book. All right, let's continue. And well, we'll get we'll get a chance to talk about. That. I mean, I, you can say that. You want a water? No. You want a water? I'll probably throw it up right probably now. Probably throw it up right now. Well, just sure. relax, man. Just relax, okay? Just calm down. All right. We're just going to talk a little bit. All right. I'm going to get some information from you real quick. I mean, like the Dateline NBC guy I told him. Well, I told him. I'm not with Dateline, I'm an okay? Idiot. I'm not with Dateline. My name is John, all right? Okay. My name is John Dudinsky. I'm with Kentucky Bureau of Investigation, now the Attorney General's office, okay? And it's very nice, very professional by the dude right here, you know? 
He's like, um, you know, sitting here right down, explaining right, right to brass tacks. You know, hey, you know me. I'm John Dudinsky. I'm an agent. I'm an agent. I'm an agent. Okay, which means I'm a police. Which means okay. I'm a police officer. And that always was funny to me. <laughs> because obviously, if you're an agent, you're gonna be a police officer, right? Well, no, no, no. I'm an agent, but I'm also a janitor on the side. You know, <laughs> that's just me. No reason to be all nervous or anything. All we're going to do is... <laughs> I love that, too. You know, you, you, there's rightful reason to be nervous. Rightful reason to be shitting yourself. And this dude's just like, nah, it's, you know, it's, we're just going to talk about something. Don't be nervous, you know. All I'm going to try to do is fuck you completely. But, you know, don't be nervous, you know. Trying to, it, it, it's, it's police work, you know. I, I mean, it's his job to get the confession right here. So, I mean, <laughs> he's... Doing his job, but I mean at the same time, he's just he's trying to fool him, obviously. But <laughs> but yeah, I mean he's just he's probably thinking, oh, this guy's hyperventilating, you know. He's gonna just be all over the place. I'm not gonna be able to get a confession out of him. He's just gonna be there sobbing the entire time. I mean, I, I must say though, the KBI officers here were very um, were very good. You know, both Dudinsky and uh, Big Dog and uh, Catherine Reed. They were both very, very, very good cops. Our, all three of them were, you know, in terms of, you know, being being straight up, being professional, but also doing their jobs and doing their jobs well. Um, you know, I mean, there, there's been the countless examples of the amateurness. Amateur? Amateurnish? Amateurish? Amateurish. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Amateurish, uh, you know, cops on TCAP. A lot, a lot of them were. But I must say, KPI, uh, the Kentucky cops, were very, very good, very professional for the most part. And stuff, all right? I'm just... All right. Well, the reason I'm nervous is because, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> this my mama. It's my mama. But I am an only child. I'm an only child. <laughs> Oh no! See, Dustin's good, man. He can come up with these these tears on the spot. You know, that's probably years of practice doing that. Um, you know, right out, right out of nowhere, he comes out with these fake tears, and then then you'll notice though they disappear pretty quickly. <laughs> it's definitely all a night. I love the reason I'm nervous. <laughs> Honestly, it's my mama. I'm an only child. How are you gonna do this to Mama's only child? This is gonna kill her. <laughs> Dustin, <laughs> you're right, Dustin. You're right. Yo, right away. I don't even need to hear anymore. You're good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. When's when's the movie version of this coming out? When are they gonna make this into a lifetime movie, Dustin? <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> now, fuck you, Dustin. Let's do this. You sound like you wanna. You wanna talk to me, okay? And I want to hear what you have to say, but... Tell and, and Dudinsky's good right here. He's saying, skip the formalities, you know, about getting the information. We can do that later. I can tell, you know, right away, Dudinsky's the type of dude who hates doing paperwork as a cop. You know, he's like, damn it, man, I hate... I like, I wanted to be a cop, but, man, I didn't know how much paperwork was going to be involved in this shit. So, right away, the, the dude is skipping all the basic shit right here. Realizing, hey, this dude's going to crack like a fucking egg. Ha! <laughs> This guy's gonna crack and spill his guts. So let's just skip all that shit and let me get him right now while he's belting down. That's great right there, you know. Tell you this, we need to... I just... I don't want to get to jail because I can't, <laughs> I can't deal without having the jail. I understand that. Because, I mean, I can't walk without this. I understand. Okay. <laughs> Dustin's face right there after he says that he's like he's like wait shit this dude isn't buying it this dude isn't going for it wait a second wait a second oh shit I'm gonna need to maybe change my strategies a little bit here and he's like I, I don't know if he was thinking like oh yeah once I say that he's gonna be like oh yeah okay okay Dustin okay now, let me just tell you straight up you're not gonna go to jail okay we just wanna we just wanna give you a little bit of a reprimand here but that's gonna be it you know I think that's what he was intending that to happen, but he's like, oh, shit, wait, this isn't happening. Uh, you blew your load too early here, Dustin. <laughs> now you got, you used your tricks, your tricks didn't work. We're three minutes into this, and your tricks haven't worked. <laughs> but, so you're going to have to try something else, and uh, it's not going to work out for you either. Spoiler alert. Okay. Before I ask you any questions, you got to know your rights, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in court or in other proceedings. You have a right to have an attorney before you make any statement or answer any questions. You can have your attorney 
present during questioning. You may request the court to appoint an attorney for you if you cannot afford to hire one. All right. If you start talking to me and you want to quit talking, you can stop at any time by refusing to answer questions or by requesting consultation with your attorney. All right. I don't like lawyers. <laughs> you don't like lawyers. <laughs> I don't like lawyers. Oh, man, this cop, he has to be smiling inside when he said that, man. And why the hell doesn't Dustin like lawyers? I have a theory. I think he doesn't like lawyers because, of course, he was married at one point. Somehow. I don't know what the fuck, man. I don't know. I can't explain it to you. But uh, he was married at one point, divorced. Maybe he got completely fucked over in the divorce proceedings, and that's why he doesn't like lawyers. He's like, man, my divorce lawyer was no good. I lost everything. So I don't like lawyers from here on out. And that's fucked up. <laughs> but I think that's why. You know, he's like, I don't like lawyers. First of all, even if you don't like lawyers, don't say that. <laughs> oh, man, I wonder if Dustin still doesn't like lawyers after after this, you know. I mean, after this, he's going to be like, man, you know, I, I, I fucked myself. I admitted to having child pornography. But, you know, I didn't use a lawyer. So I, I still don't like them, even though I fucked myself even more. I still don't like them. He's like, but no, 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 no. Oh, man, Dustin, Dustin, Dustin. This is a train wreck already. Three minutes, 43 seconds, and it's already a train wreck for Dustin. <laughs> Oh my god. And the dude repeats it. You don't like lawyers. No. Alright. Alright. Uh, <laughs> it's like, okay, the... I never heard that one before. You know, I've been a cop for 28 years or something. I haven't heard that one yet. Damn, Dustin. It says here is that I've read you your rights. Do you understand them? Yes, sir. You understand that you can stop talking at any time yes, you sir. want to. You can have an attorney. You can have an attorney with you during questioning. It's 11.09. Yeah, I forgot it's the time change. Yeah, we're on right. central time. <laughs> Again, trying to make small talk. It's like, dude, no one wants to make small talk with you, dude. Like, shut up. Shut up. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I did a lot of wrong. Okay. If you understand your rights, as I've read them to you, if you'll sign right here for me, where it says signature. And man, his handwriting is horrible too. I don't know if I don't know if any of you have ever seen that uh, <laughs> the letters that he's written wrote to the judge from prison. Oh my God! I don't know how the hell anyone ever read that. <laughs> Now this, this waiver down here says that you having the above statement of your rights read and explained to you and you fully understand them, and that's correct, right? Correct. You hereby waive these rights at 11.10 p.m. and you're wanting to talk to me, correct? Yes, sir, I will. Uh, you know, the really bad... Oh, part. this is a gem right here. I love this right here. Hang on, go back. The first, the, like we've had a couple of good gems here, but already, but this is this is the this is another. This is just a really good one to get started here, you know. The really bad part of this, the daily on the NBC guy said I wouldn't be under arrest. I could leave. <laughs> so just sign right there. Well, Dateline doesn't. <laughs> a fucking dumbass. First of all, that's never what happened. You know, he's like, oh man, the worst part about this is that the uh, Dateline NBC guy said I wasn't under arrest. I could leave. You know, he never said that. He's like, he's like, damn, Dustin. You never said that, first of all. What Chris Hansen says is that, you know, you're free to leave, you know, obviously. Because he's not a police officer. He can't rightfully say that. It's stupid on my part. As he heads for the door. No, what the hell? I mean, she's not driving the... No, no. I guess... I don't know. How do you get that, right? Dustin doesn't... I guess, he, I guess he doesn't say it in the segment that we see. I wish we had uncut footage for Dustin, but we don't. Um, but, but he usually, Chris Hansen usually says, you're not under arrest right now, obviously, because Chris Hansen is not a police officer. He can't fucking arrest you, Justin. Like, he's so stupid. He's so thick-headed. He's like, damn, he lied to me, and, but I got arrested anyway, man. And this is, again, more victim shaming, more victim, you know, more, uh, not victim shaming, I should say, but more of, hey, I'm the victim here, you know. He said I wasn't going to be under arrest. He lied to me. 
But he, he didn't lie to you, Dustin. He definitely did not say, hey, you're not under arrest, and you're not going to be under arrest anytime soon. But, you know, it would have been really funny, you know, and Dustin goes back to, uh, drives the five hours back to uh, Tennessee, where he's from, and then they just show up to his house. You know, he thinks that he's off the hook completely, and then somebody just shows up to his house, Justin, take a step out, <laughs> take a step out, okay, okay. Yeah, that would be really funny if they just showed up to his house randomly and be like, Wait, they said I wasn't under arrest? Oh no, that's what he says here, you know. He thought they said I wasn't under arrest. That's what he says right here. I love this point. I love his address. Dustin, take a step out, okay? Take a step out. <laughs> okay. 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 Because of his disability, oh, officers man. are careful taking him into custody. I thought they said I wasn't under arrest. I thought they said I wasn't under arrest. I wouldn't hurt, I wouldn't hurt nobody. <laughs> Fuck you, Dustin. Fuck you. They never said that. Get the fuck out of here, man. Doesn't work for for us. They're not policemen. They're news people. I know, but that's just wrong that he lied to me. Right. It's just wrong that he lied to me. See, Dustin's like, again, they lied to me. No, he didn't lie to you. But yeah, Dustin's like, I hate liars. But what am I going to do throughout this entire interrogation? I'm going to lie my ass off. I'm going to try to lie my ass off. You know, it, 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 he only hates lying when it's not him. But when he's in the same situation, he'll lie all fucking day. He doesn't really give a shit. Well, we'll Which talk, I mean, I understand, we'll talk about that in a minute. I understand why I'm here. Right. But he shouldn't have lied to me. I understand why I'm here. But still, he should have lied to me. You know? Right. He should have said, well, you are under arrest. Again, no, Dustin. He's not a police officer. He's not going to say that. Like I said. Okay. I'm going to turn this on real quick, all right? And then okay. I thought you were videotaping. Ooh. Nah, I'm going to tape record it. I'm old-fashioned, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why'd you go digital? Oh, you go digital? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what this was when I saw it. I was like, where you put the tape in? <laughs> yeah, I, I hate that fucking laugh that he Yeah! Fucking. Ugh. I want to punch him in the face. Whatever he does that, man. It's so obnoxious. Yeah! I didn't know what this was when I saw it. I didn't know what this was when I put the tape in. It's like in the 1970s. I was like, where you put the tape in? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was supposed to. Uh. I my buddy one of those this week so he could write his book. So he could oh, write yeah. his book. You know, every time Dustin speaks, man, I just want to fucking punch him in the face, man. Somebody needs to just punch this dude in the face, man. You know, I wish that they could turn the cameras off right here. And just so Dustin, you know, Mc, uh, the fucking dude right here, Dudinsky, could just be like, well, 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 we're going back to the good old days, you know, where we could beat the shit out of people, you know. No, 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 not seriously, but, but, but I mean, it's just something about Dustin, you know, it just, it just, every time he speaks, I just want to, I, I, I hate him more and more every time that he talks, you know. You know, because, you know, I've heard him, you know, he's been pretty much talking for the past six minutes or so. But that was, like, the first line that really, ugh, really annoyed me. Yeah. Must have bought my buddy one of those. When I saw it, I was like, where you put the tape in? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's trying to be buddy-buddy with you. He's I not. Must have my buddy one of those this week so he could write his book. book. Oh, yeah? He's going to write a book? book? I don't care at all. Oh, yeah? He's writing a book? <laughs> I don't care at all, dude. Yeah, he's a wrestler. 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 Well, Again, he doesn't care, Dustin. Stop telling him your whole life story. You don't need to know that. Three eleven and uh, all right. We're getting into the interrogation now. I'm gonna break this up. This is gonna be a long one. This is gonna be like a whole mini series and so. So I'll break this up. We'll start up in part two.